Hi everybody, it's Julie, and when I went out to get my flamingo stuff out of <laughs> out of the warehouse and ended up <laughs> reorganizing a bunch of stuff, um, I found this. I actually found two different bags that I had purchased to make journals out of. And so we are going to go ahead and see what we can do with this for a cover. Okay? So actually, we'll have two covers. And so, um, yeah. So wish me luck. Let's go ahead and get started. Have you ever done taken a bag and turned it into a journal? That's the first thing I'm curious about. So we also have this panel on the side that I want to try and save. So I'm going to start by, I've got my Cutco scissors that will cut pretty much anything. And I'm going to go ahead and start by trying to cut this edge. Now the cool thing is, is I have two chances to do this and get it right and that's okay I'll make um, I'll have stuff for two journals and that is great so what we've got is oh we've got like a piece of of um, like patent leather in there it's red Red patent leather. Interesting. At least on the side. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I've gotten this side taken apart. Looks like the front is actually cardboard, you guys. Cardboard. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the handles because they're in my way. We'll see if there's something that I can use those for. So the other bag is a like a basket bag. And okay. So there's that. I don't know if we can Okay, let's go ahead. We'll come across here. Okay, so I have this front piece. It feels like it's glued down really well. So, let me just come across this over here. Um... This purse is like 9 by, I don't know, 13 or 14. Oh, darn. We didn't get a good cut on this, this one seam. That's okay. I said we can... Oh, yeah, yeah. Stand up. And I, I have had this in my stash for quite a while. Okay, just ripping it. Oh, this one's going to rip all the way around. Well, that's cool. Okay, so we have this panel right here. One of the side panels. I think we'll just cut that. Okay, so I, I released one of the side panels. And this is on, like, some red patent leather. Um, 
it has a couple of darts down here at the bottom. I'm just going to cut it across. Okay, so, so I have this, this flap from the side. And, oh, I might have cut it too much because I was like, oh, that could be a... Mm. Okay, so in the next one, we will not cut it across because <laughs> that could be the... Okay, can't rip the black. So right now we're just deconstructing the purse. And taking the liner out. And look what we've got. We've got like a box. If you needed a binder, <laughs> this would make a great like binder. Okay, let's see if we can rip this like we ripped the other one. Sorry, I'm out of. Okay, so this is the other other one, and then to get the full length of this one I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see Oof, the fabric will come up fabric will come up okay so on this one I'm pulling the fabric up and taking it off need all of it. Okay. Let's see if it'll come off on this side too. Oh, this side the fabric is in the Okay. Okay, I need as much of the fabric as I can get. Let's see if I can Seam ripper would be good right here. Okay. 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 So now let's see how long it is. We need nine inches. So six to zero to three. Okay, so this one we have our full full nine inches. So this could be um, the binding. Now this could be the binding for a separate journal and giving us a third a third binding, which I think is cool. So here is the insert. the lining and now back to our bag okay so this is what we've got okay and we need the whole we need the whole thing for this for it to work of course, it can be a little bit short. Okay, let's go ahead. I wonder. Okay, we're going to start by trying it with this side. Okay, my magic scissors. Okay, let's to take, aha, take that out. Oh my gosh, did you see this? These are just brads. Okay, these little guys on the back. They're just 
threads. We can pull those out, save them for something else. Who knew? Did you know? I didn't know. We got four brads. probably would have just thrown that piece away. They got these cool little pieces on the inside. Okay, so Could just grab the fabric and the fluff that's under it. Maybe. Because I'm not going to be able to keep the okay, I'm trying to get it so that I can start pulling this this one up this okay well let's go ahead we're gonna we've already kind of decided we're cutting this, right? going to do two different ways. Oh, I guess we're cutting the, just the fabric here. <laughs> under it. Let's go ahead and get the, the fabric. Okay, so what we the stitching is not coming undone here. Let's try Trial and error here, trial and error. Oh no, not it's just trial. <laughs> no error. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, this is where we could really use a seam ripper. Did I ever grab one? I was going to. Okay, how about we try? Okay. Lay this one down here. 
So this one we're going for the fabric. But we really need the So I'm going to try undoing the stitching. What if it came in from? So I also found a really pretty evening bag. I wish it was blue, but it's pink, like a mauvey pink. So maybe we'll do something for Pink October with that using the last year's Pink October digital kit, I think. There we go. Okay, so what's happening is the fabric is actually down under here. So maybe if we try going along here. See, the fabric is here. So, just further taking things apart, I found that the fabric is actually there. So, I can go ahead and cut along here. So again, if you just if you're just getting here, we're taking apart a purse. Okay, got that out there, out of there, which is cool. I'm trying to grab this. This purse is exactly nine inches, so I need every bit of the fabric because when I cut, it was really hard to cut it. Um, Straight. Okay. So, okay, I'm gonna take a minute and rem or a minute and remind you that in August we're gonna be doing a little golden book challenge. So you'll want to uh, be looking for that if you want to join us in our challenge for August. Remember, we do a challenge, a junk journal challenge, with prizes for everyone that finishes and posts their challenge in the special Facebook group. Um, and, uh, okay. Okay, so now we can go ahead and go along. You see this? They only glued around the outside. Okay, so we can grab all the fabric and well, let's come along here and we'll just cut the foam. Okay. And now I could, uh, I've got another one. So the other one will try doing something different. Okay, let's see if we ended up with what we needed. Okay, yep, we've got a little bit more than nine. Okay. Okay, so, um, hmm, you know, we had already started a yellow journal, and I was going to keep that, but I think, I 
think what we'll do, let's see. Oh my gosh, do you see this? It will wrap around the whole thing. I was not expecting that. Okay. But what I got to do is figure out how to get... Well, you know, kind of like the way that looks. Okay. This is... That's the front. Do we come over? Or do we... See, another thing that we could do is we could just take this piece and put it on what we've already built. I kind of like that for this one. Okay. So let's see if we can get in here and I got on the outs on the spine here. Can I? Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how to get the the dart cleaned out without losing because you know on the other one we lost the fabric this one fabric is not big enough Sorry. Um, okay, so these are our choices. This. Or. This. I kind of. I think I want to do this just because. Um, the other is. What if we put it on, but let the let that show, let the yellow show? Kind of like that. Oh, we've got to pull our <laughs> pull our flamingos down. See, the thing is, is I. I messed I messed that up there, but we could I could let's see if that will okay, we gotta come up. That will cover that, you guys. Okay. 
So if I go with that, what we'll have. I really like how clean this was on the inside though. What if we do? Ooh. Oh. Okay, I like that. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go. We're going to go ahead and start with adding the fabric tech and gluing this back down to itself with the strings. With the strings. I'm just going to go ahead and leave the strings. Okay, so this will go down. So we are using a purse <laughs> to cover this journal. it along it's okay so and I still have the other side to make another one so um, to make another cover and I have plenty of stuff to make more than one journal plus it looks like there's going to be a tropical flamingo type collab happening in August. So, um, I'm going to need a cover for that, right? I'm going to go, I'm going to be, I don't do the corner thing very often, but we're going to go ahead and plan on adding the metal corners to this. So let's come over here and I'm going to put glue along all those stitches and they may, some of them may stay, right? Okay, so we'll come back with our glue along this edge. I think this is going to be kind of cool because it'll be a little bit bigger, but it'll pull in where those, um, pull the little black threads. Okay, now we need to come down here, and this needs. to go up just a little. Okay. Okay. My poor daughter sent a message. She has double ear infection, outer ear and inner ear. She is in so much pain. This is her last coming up on her last week before she goes back to work she's been off while we've been home safer at home um, they have horrible internet where they are and she had to make arrangements to be able to get her kids 
to um, internet during the time we were at home, safer at home. So, and with three kids, okay, we're gonna go ahead and trim this all the way up to the book. Okay, I had it so that it was away. I'm gonna trim it all the way up to the book because I'm doing some I'm doing something different now. Okay, so we've trimmed that. Okay, so this is gonna go and it'll be a little bit our cover is a little bit bigger than our book. I just think that rather than bringing the cover down, okay, we'll start with the cover cover, okay, and my book is flat, it's uh, matte, it's not glossy, so I'm not, I'm not worried. All the way up to the edge is what I want. I go all the way around. And then here and in the, the gutter. Okay. I was going to make, oh, I was going to make the, I was going to make it fluffy. Yeah. Oh, well. different. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go ahead and get glue in the gutter. We did a good job on the gutter on the <laughs> By the way, good job, the gutter. Okay, so we took some really cool fabric off of the front of this purse. This is fabric tack. This will hold it. It will dry fast. Okay. So let's come over to this side. around come back and
Okay, so it does have an edge going, okay? The fabric is a little bit bigger, but I think that's gonna be kind of cool because sometimes the pages end up a little bigger. Um, I am gonna go ahead and we will be using the metal corners and that's because of that one up there. Now you could just, just use it where you're compromised. I'm looking for staff. You can use those to pop it down. Okay, so this is the one that's the, the area that's compromised. So I could just just do this corner. I like that okay so um, we can add those to all four all four corners I was one of the things I had thought about doing was um, so I guess I bought this in 2019 <laughs> was I was thinking about doing like a like would be on a book bag but um, I, I don't think that'll work okay so we need four of these Okay, so here's my cover made out of the purse, and I think this is going to be really cool. We can add a cover patch here, possibly like from the video that we did the other day.
Okay. I kind of I kind of like that like a lot. Okay. It's kind of cool that we used a a purse. <laughs> so, I still have those other panels left and um so I will, it's possible you might see me come back and make the other large cover um, in the next few days. Oh, let's put this right side up. So this has, um, this is from the new Antique Sketchbook Digital in the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop. Um, part one. My cover is done, and I feel much better about this cover. I love the inside. I love that we have this large pocket here. And now we can go ahead and um, we'll be able to, to get our... Um, listen to that. I love that. <laughs> Okay, but now we'll be able to go ahead and get our pages ready and get them bound and start doing the embellishments. So I think that this is going to be really, really cool. I kind of like that. We'll see what goes on this other side here. Um, don't forget we have these cool brads that we took off. It's You just never know what you're going to come up with around here. I think I'll put the brads up there with the with the corners so they're not they don't keep shooting across the desk. Okay. So there, there you go. My cover. You know what? It's my prerogative. We can change our mind and add something to it. I like this I like it so much better, and um, and we still have this piece. So um, let me know what you think we should do with this. What should we try and do with this? I am actually thinking um, covering a book board with the this piece. Like the front book board. Um, I, 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 I think you could go ahead and make a, a book cover out of this. The problem is this down here. Um, but let me, I'm going to think on this. And of course, I'll be back with how we go go about doing that but I kind of I, I the thing is is I think we would still end up losing um, this even if I cover this so if I covered a front book board okay it would have to come over so that he or she was on it so I don't know Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think for that one. Okay. So, and then I do, um, I do think that the using this for the spine on one would be really good. Or um, let's measure it. It could be a traveler's notebook. It could be the front of a traveler's notebook it is it is technically about five inches by um okay six plus two plus yes between eight and nine inches so it could be it could be um like the cover for a traveler's notebook um we could make it into a, a patch that went onto a piece. 
yeah so and then I have this one that I cut too small so yeah measure six times before you cut right <laughs> but I love what we've got here and I love that we used up this purse that uh, has been hanging out for a few years waiting to turn into something I love that we have this from the from this side um, I actually was uh, looking forward to um, doing something different with my binding so uh, we'll see how that works out okay so there's my cover and um, I'm sticking to it <laughs> that is the one I'll be using this time and so come back tomorrow we're gonna be um, hopefully gathering the papers and getting them ready to go into the journal this is um, one of the bottom panels from the antique sketch digital and I'm just going to go ahead and rip that and put it in my paper gathering pile because I like the pineapple one I think that that will be fun to have in a tropical type journal okay so find something to celebrate every day have an amazing day I'll see you tomorrow bye bye bye